Uh, then about uh, two months later, I was called for my severance. Whatever. Oh, nice. Yeah. Not only for Chadu. So squanaju that I mean it was a very poor way of doing things mm. to be honest. Um now look back I'm I'm regretful about that. Not not your proudest moment. Not my proudest moment. <laughs> but also my worst decision at that point. Mm-hmm. Why? So another lesson people need to learn is that so you're working for company A, you open your company B. Yep. Who was doing sales for company A? You for, for, company for company A, a the sales you're yeah. doing, and you get a lot of business that you're pushing to company B. Yes. When you leave, that tap stops. That tap is closed. <laughs> <laughs> that tap is gone. That tap is gone, bro. I mean, like, wow, it dried up. So <laughs> now, you have rent to pay. Hey, now, now I'm calling my boys in Wananchi, like, hey, Mazi, you scumi me some jobos. Kumbe then they're like, so we are scumi renew kony what are we eating ourselves? See that? You know, hook us up. Yeah, I'm like, say if you guys these are not call, come, we we'll work out a commission structure. You sell for one inch, you sell for me. It was difficult, mm. so I had to start from scratch. Again. And hold on, this is your first entry into entrepreneurship. This is my first entry. Yes. Okay. Could work with buyer, sana. Squan a comp. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. still, I don't have a computer. I'm running a computer company without a computer. <laughs> Until all my clients threw away a laptop, and I took it and I repaired it and I started using it. And then they were not in a rush. Yeah. To have it back. Because I mean they were like, if we can repair it, bring it back. Like, what kind of deal is this? Anyway. <laughs> I stayed with it for like three, four months. Worked hard enough and now built my own computer. I didn't buy it. What do you mean you built your own computer? See components. Components, yeah. components, pop. Now buy a screen. Back then we could do such kind of things. We could easily call, we could easily buy a hard drive, motherboard, okay. memories, yeah. and even today. But back then it was more hand hands-on. It came down to less than 19k. Uh, so I mean, but that's where your knowledge had gotten to, mm, to the point where mm, you could build your own company. Money, monitor second hand, like in his own. what when a Jenga task was easy, easy. But back then, Sasa see what we on Jenga. So, so, so I, I got one of those. Um, and yeah, and then I chop up Biashara. So now, how do you start getting business? How does business start picking up? First, it doesn't. First, it goes all the way down and shuts down. You shut down? Mm. You can. Uh, apartment this is this is the worst bit hold on you've moved to gong road the gong road sasa yeah. first of all <laughs> you, you that's a big thing you forgot to mention let's, let's rewind, go back rewind let's selector. rewind eh? <laughs> now now we've moved ahead i am um i am um what am i i have been hired by this somali gentleman he's come to kenya I don't know whether he's lived here, he had lived here before, but he's come over and walked over to me. One mm-hmm. of my clients from One Yeah. He said, I want to start an ISP. So he walks Internet up to service my... Yeah, Internet service provider, just for guys who do Internet service provider. And now he comes to my car office, um, Uganda house, eh? But, and said, I want you to run the ISP. So I asked, you want me to be the GM? He said, yeah. So I was like, he asked me, how much do you want to get paid? I said, 70K. He said, done deal. He said, done. I was like, maybe I should have said 150. <laughs> <laughs> takes me to his office in the city, look around. I come to Loita House, 11th floor. I rent half of it. I built it. Go to the ISPs I work. I hire all my old friends, bring them over. We start an ISP. What? Yes. What is the ISP called? It's called Sahanet. Ah, yeah, There's yeah, a big yeah. difference because some people hear Sahanet. That uh-huh. was the one that fleeced people a lot of money. Mm. This was called Sahanet. Sahanet in Somali means communication, yeah. I believe. And so we worked together as a GM. And then I sat down with the three of them. I said, you, you will be the technical director. You will be the CEO. You will be the finance person. I mean, the finance person could speak Swahili. Just came from Somali. His Swahili wasn't very yeah. good. The technical person was the most curious one. And the chairperson CEO was the old Mze. So that's how I set it up. Dude, dude this is crazy. You're running an entrepreneurship. It's just that you're not doing the... the, the it's the, not yes, not your business. You're not yes. always in the capital. Yes. And then at the same time, I don't know anything about employee share options at that point or to say, hey, give me 5% because I'm setting up everything. Uh, yeah, I'm just yeah, so yeah, happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel owners, I feel like a sense of ownership without having any ownership. Mm. And then I'm a Christian and people have said, do not be equally yoked together with yeah. one <laughs> So I feel, like, I feel like there's a lot of conflict in my head, right? Anyway, long story. That's not a long a story, year but later, just, let's talk about this story. Yeah, brother. A year later, so this time you've shut down your business. You've shut down my business. Mm. A year later, a month before I got married, these guys called me and said, we can't afford you anymore. What? I said, what do you mean? We're breaking even. But they had found a cheaper person. 
Ay, 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 ay. Who was a yes man? Me, I was like, because I'm the one mm. who said I'm, I was usually just outspoken. I'd be very outspoken. Yeah. It was just that simple. Anyway, I left. But you had said you're never going to be fired again. Ah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> apparently, <laughs> never say never. <laughs> Um, and this time is when you've moved to Gong Road now when, you, when you're making this 70k. Yeah, but they were amazing people and they really taught me a lot of things, especially the chairperson in this case taught me a lot about family and the value of certain things. Yeah, we used to talk a lot. I mean, I learned a lot of things from, from him. Mm. I'm so grateful to that man. Um, he, was a, he was really a stand-up guy, still is. Mm. Um, and so I moved now. Now I have to go the girl who's about to get married to me tell her in Malaysia. So nika kuja Ngong Road, nika ka home weekend billi. Nimeka tu nafikiria. So there's a bit of money I've paid rent. Mm. I decided to start a new company for selling domains and web hosting. Ai Sam, what have you done in this comp world? It was called yes. Cuz now when that that web hosting thing is really taking now off. It's taking off. Yes, yep, yep. And now I have discovered that you don't need a credit card. There's a company in Belgium uh, I'd never heard of the country before, or the city called Sofia, I believe, that could take Western Union. Mm. So me, I used to send so much money to Eastern Europe to buy domains. So I'd buy them for, I think it was $10, and then I'd sell them plus hosting for 120. One inch was selling for 150, so I was cheaper. So within two months, I got 100 customers. What? Yes. So I made 1.2 million. What? Mm. How old are you this time? This time I am twenty-six. And you've just and you've just gotten married. Yes. No, no. Or is this the time? No, no. I'm I'm in the middle of now the, yes, that, that, that getting married. Yes. Like it's like the same month I believe. Mm, mm. And then I start selling. So I start selling. Hold on. Home. You got the hundred customers. Like in how long? I got them in two months. How? Do, okay. Ah, good question yeah. here. How did you? How did people even know? You see, hey. uh, how did how did they know go to Sam for how did why you come to me? I went to them. They to our two companies. They're the ones who need the service a lot because they need websites to connect to their customers abroad. At that point, mm -hmm. there's all these trip advisors are coming up, so they all need websites. So you can engage with two company now, but your card in Ambia, Evo, Uganda House, Apo Moya Avenue, Apo Ivi Mamangina, Apo Ivi so must matua company mobs ana. Yeah. Ah, Apo Ivi karibu na K Street, Apo Ivi kunyuma. Uko kulwa na matua companies. Unaingia tu. What? Yeah, nika design websites that were company almost 60. So in fact, I was going to ask you. Alafu design, uh -huh. pale kwa futa, designed by my company signature. Alafu uke click on the com oh, Okay, okay. That, uh, yeah. we are not talking about the company now. <laughs> but the question is this. Yeah. Um, now this is my second company. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, do you want to say the name of your second company? No, no, no. Okay, sir. Just go on. So, so the question now come, that comes is, who, you're the one who's doing the web designing. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning. And I'm getting help from what a guy from C++? three months. Uh, three months. Uh, yeah, you know, I did web design hey. in the front page. Me. Sasa, sisi tuko na design ivo. Sisi tuko na design na kitu nito Joomla. Na before Joomla was called Mambo. So it was, uh, it's an engine. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a, like a WordPress engine. Yes. Uh, but that before WordPress, there were engines like that that could help you. Content management systems. Mm -hmm. Deploy it. You design for the front part. And then the back part runs by itself. Okay, okay. But my... But by this time, kulikuwa gana ma bulletins, Yahoo bulletins, kulikuwa naenda, nika mitu watu across the world who, who were Joomla fans. Mm. They connected with them and they, they'd help me out. Some became friends up to today. So like now in chat groups and things like that, chat communities? Chat groups like that. Back then, hacking, like being a hacker was open. There was a hacker's bulletin board where you could go and learn how to hack. The internet was very open. Mm. Like It's what blockchain is trying to bring back. Yeah, <laughs> the, it was such an open place to be and find. You could find the most amazing things from people. You could connect with somebody online and you become such good friends and you teach each other so many things and you have classes every week. What? Out of interest. Yeah. Dude, uh, that's, you know, ah, Sam, you've just said something that's connected to what you're doing now. Mm. So you, what, like, just to fast forward a bit, mm. these learnings that you're getting of connecting with people across the world and yeah. understanding that education has no physical barriers or yes. geographical barriers, you were already experiencing this. I'd already experienced then, way back. There was no video. And you had felt the value. Yes, and there were, just, there were no videos, there were just bulletin boards where you chat, you discuss, maybe somebody sets up a server, says, okay, you newbie hackers, come try hack this server. Here is instructions, and you just go through them, and then they encourage you, they tell you what to read. If you are lazy, they would not be interested. So, mm. so there's a lot of stuff to learn. And you are hungry, because I mean, you need this mm. money. Yeah. So yeah. you make 1.2M. I make 1.2M Kenya shillings, 
Now, but that's paid for the ER uh, advance. So I have mm. to keep on selling. So now I built a web hosting, web design company. And now I reopened my office in town. Mm. And I ran that company until recently, till about a year ago. But what? the customers we deal because I didn't. Now, the thing I didn't know about them is how to scale a business. If I had scaled that company, Ooh. it would be. I always look back at a point of that was one of the points of in the future, if I ever built a new company, I have to figure out scale. Uh -huh. Because if I had figured out scale, I could have been acquired by people like maybe big companies. I'd have made my money with that company. Yep. Now, Sahanet, I have not made my money because I didn't even take equity and mm. I've left after building. This one, I have learned to build, but now I don't know how to, to raise scale. capital and uh. scale and do that kind of stuff around a company. My mind, my knowledge is still limited to a certain degree. So, Kunavitu as Jafungu Kabado. Yes. Now, that's a problem for most business people. The people you hang around with are very important because of how much you know. Mm. And because the worst thing is that you don't know what you don't know. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. And so when you sit with people and they say something and suddenly your brain just opens up to a different direction. Yep. You know, um, I call it the philosophy of the fourth slice of pizza. Yeah. So the first slice is what you know you know. Yeah. And the second slice is what you know you don't know. Yes. Then the other remaining four slices of pizza is what you don't know you don't know. Yes. And that needs to be sparked by that conversations, conversations like this on CTA. Yes. Thank yes. you. <laughs> I mean, like, and, and, and it was a bit, um, it was a bit, it was a bit hard later just to think about how many mistakes I've made. I've made too many mistakes. But those mistakes days. also haven't, they helped you? No, they have. They have, they have. Haven't honestly, they given you um, an experience that is so yeah. valuable, even though they're hard? No, no. <laughs> so, so I do that and then I move back to the office in town. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, where does now the story go from behind? And, now, I, now, and I move back to the exact same building, Uganda House. Mm. Yes. And what year is this about? Oh my goodness. Two, 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 three? 2004. 2004. 2005. Okay, so, tukona high five, lakini atuna Facebook. Yeah, but Facebook aja kam. Man, yo story, sasa ati ya kukonek na customers, ni hard. Always you have a little dude. Lazma ikuwe manual. So, um... And you have employees? I have employees. Yes, I have employees. Not, not the two guys. Did you didn't bring one of them left uh, when we shut down. The other stayed a bit and then left. So okay. I used to go to a place called Nairobits. I They call me as a guest lecturer. And I'd go do like guest lecturing at Nairobits in the industrial area. Yeah. And then I'd pick some of their students to come and work for me. Oh, nice. And I'd start off their careers. Yeah, we're still friends today. Most of them are amazing. Hey, Sam. Yes. Okay, Con continue with this story. So, uh, but now you get married. Of course, I'm married. Yeah. I'm settled. Uh, but no I'm toys broke. yet. Yeah? No toy. Okay. No, 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 no children. Okay. No kids yet. Uh, I'm settled. Um, you're broke. Very stable. You're you're, you're she broke. has a very stable career. Mm -hmm. as I'm just chaotic. <laughs> um, yeah, so what am I doing at this point now? I'm on, I, I moved from Gong Road. I'm running that. Um, and I've already left Sahanet. Remind me where we were. So now else. we've you've just you've started building these domains for guys oh, as yeah. your own company. So, that, that so now you that. go back to town. Yeah, now I'm well, back yeah. to town and yeah. I'm doing that work. Well, well, nothing significant. Oh, something very significant happened. Sorry. I was trying to remember that part because this is when I got I got to realize I needed to know more. Mm. And I was limited in my knowledge. Mm. So I sent James Kashui. Now he's already about, I think he's started Transcentury. I can't remember or he had not. I sent him an email and I say, I would like to carry your bags into meetings. 